Eight o'clock. You can tell me later. Okay. I'm trying. We've got enough of both to do about two weeks. Okay. Eight o'clock. Have it. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to morning prayer. Uh, this morning, our reader will be Ann Parker. Uh, Diane will read the Jubilate, and Susan will read the Great Thanksgiving. So we begin on page 78 with opening sentences, and then it's followed on page 79 with the confession of sin. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. The hour is coming and now is when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, and for such the Father seeks to worship him. And now on page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful, Most merciful God, God, we confess, confess that, that we have sinned against, against you and thought of our enemies by what we have done and, done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our whole hearts. We are not loved you with our Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. And now we move to the invitatory on page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth will show your face. Praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as it was in the beginning, and will be forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now we will go to the Jubilate on page 82, and Diane will read that for us. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his Amen. faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 50, beginning on page 654. Psalm 50, beginning on page 654, and it does continue on to the following page for one of the verses. So let us read responsibly, dividing at the asterisk. Psalm 50. The Lord, the God of gods, has spoken. He has called the earth to the rising of the sun to a setting. setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty. God reveals himself to the glory. Our God will come and will not keep silence. Before him, there is a consuming flame and round about him are raging storms. Calls the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before me, my loyal followers. Those who have made a covenant with me, me and seal with sacrifices. Let the heavens declare the righteousness of his cause. For God, For God himself, himself is judge. Hear, O oh, my people, and I will speak. O oh, Israel, I will bear witness against you. For, For I am God, God, your God. I do not accuse you because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always, always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls. No no he he the For all the beasts of the forest are mine. The the birds birds in their thousands thousands of I know every bird in the sky. And the, and the creatures of the fields I must 
If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the whole world is mine and all that is in it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls? Or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And make good your vows to the most high. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will, I will deliver, deliver you and you shall honor the name. But to the wicked, God says, Why do you decide to take my covenant with the Since you refuse discipline, and you tell us not to respond your back. When you see a thief, you make him your friend. And you cast him off your lot with the adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil. And promised your time on the top. You are always speaking evil of your brother. And slandering your brother's son. These things you have done, and I keep kept still. And you thought that I am not good. I have made my accusation. I have put my case in order before all of you once. Consider this well, you who forgot God. Lest I grant you and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. But those, but those who, who keep my way will I show the salvation of God. And on page 84, glory to the Father and to the Son and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, was in the beginning, is now, now and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. And now Anne will read our first lesson. A reading from Revelation. A war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard the loud voice in heaven proclaiming, now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down and accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not cling to the life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. So when the dragon saw that he had been thrown down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But the woman was given the two wings of the great eagle so that she could fly from the serpent into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time. Then from his mouth, the serpent poured water like a river after the woman to sweep her away with the flood. But the earth came to the help of the woman. It opened its mouth and swallowed the river that the dragon had poured from his mouth. Then the dragon was angry with the woman and went off to make war on the rest of her children, those who keep the commandments of God and hold the testimony of Jesus. Here ends the reading. When it comes to the angels, I've heard it said that the archangels, like Michael, are the MVP of the heavenly host. Hymn 282, Christ, the fair glory of the holy angels, celebrates these celestial beings. Christ. 
Christ, the fair glory of the holy angels, maker of all things, ruler of all nations, grant of thy mercy unto us thy servants, steps up to heaven. Send thy archangel Michael to our succor, peacemaker blessed, may he banish from us striving and so that for the peaceful all things may prosper. Father Almighty, Son and Holy Spirit, God ever-blessed, hear our thanks. A reading from Luke. When he went outside, the scribes and the Pharisees began to be very hostile toward him and to cross-examine him about many things, lying in wait for him to catch him in something he might say. Meanwhile, when the crowd gathered in thousands so that they trampled on one another, he began to speak first to his disciples Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, that is their hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. Therefore, whatever you've said in the dark will be heard in the light. What you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he is killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, the rulers, and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise God. With saints around the world and across the centuries, let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven, of heaven and, earth. and earth. I believe, I believe in, Jesus in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, 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 our Lord. Lord. He was conceived, conceived by the power Lord. of the Holy Spirit and born, and born of the Virgin Lord. Mary. He suffered, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, crucified died, died, and was buried. There. He descended, he descended to, the to the dead. dead. On the third, the third day, day, he rose again. again. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right, right hand, hand of the, of the Father. Father. He, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy the Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, saints, the forgiveness of sins, of sins the resurrection, resurrection of the body, and, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our prayers are found today on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Lord be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. evil. For thine, thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the, power, and the glory, glory forever and ever. ever. Amen. 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 Continuing with suffrages, A. Eh? Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. That your that people your think the same of joy. joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice. Let your way be known upon earth. You are saved among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Holy and ever-living God, by your power we are created, and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service, and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 O Lord, our governor, bless the leaders of our land, that we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Give grace to your servants, to the president and members of the cabinet, to governors of states, mayors of cities, and to all in administrative authority, grant wisdom and grace in the exercise of their duties. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Give grace to your servants, to senators and representatives, and those who make our laws in states, cities, and towns. Give courage, wisdom, and foresight to provide for the needs of all our people, and to fulfill our obligations in the community of nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give grace to your servants, to the judges and officers of our courts. Give understanding and integrity that human rights may be safeguarded and justice served. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, to whom we must account for all our powers and privileges, guide the people of the United States in this community in the election of officials and representatives that by faithful administration and wise laws, the rights of all may be protected and our nation be enabled to fulfill your purposes through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And finally, teach our people to rely on your strength and to accept their responsibilities to their fellow citizens, that they may elect trustworthy leaders and make wise decisions for the well-being of our society, that we may serve you faithfully in our generation and honor your holy name. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayers. Prayer. 
We also pray for those in need of healing, for those impacted by the economic crisis, and for an end to racial divisions in our nation, our city, and our church. Gracious God, who can turn our worries into wings of joys and our sorrows into songs of thanks, let not our hearts be so troubled by the tragedies of this life's moment that we lose sight of the eternal life in your kingdom. Give comfort and solace to our companions who suffer almost unbearable losses every second, minute, and hour in our nation and the world. Strengthen our resolve to replace hatred with love, tension with trust, and selfishness with caring and community. Heal, O oh God, all our children so that those who hate and those who are hated, those who hurt and those who are hurt may grow up in an America and in a world of peace, opportunity, and justice. Amen. 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 And now we offer prayers for those known to us in our community. And Cheryl will read from her list. We are praying for Florence, Stuart, Jack, Archie, Lynn, Nicholas, Cameron, Beth, Alan, Terry, Adrian, and Jocelyn. Reading from our list, Bill, Kathy, Kel, Heather, Jane, and Susan, Georgia, Talissa, Francis, Terry, and Kay, Patrick, Michael, Levy, Olean, and Dana. Are there others? Yes. For, J for James. For, for the family of Andy Mears, my, one of my closest friends at the USO, lost her father last night, and she's only 33 years old and has two little children. So very sad. Please pray for the family of Robert Martin, who passed away at the age of 101 from COVID. I invite any Thanksgivings you may have this morning. Well, we're happy for the birth of uh, Bob Lloyd. I on his prayer on Monday, so I would like to offer that. Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look, with favor, we pray on your servant, Bob, as he begins another year. Grant that he may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen his trust in your goodness all the days of his life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 I'm thankful for you, Bill. Thank you for meeting us today. Thank you. I'm thankful for James' uh, sermon or talk uh, last Sunday, I think it was, at Mount Lebanon Chapel. That was great edifying. And Jane, I hope you're doing okay in the middle of that storm up in the mountains. I am. Um, thank you for that. I've heard numerous comments. I was out of town and missed it, but I have heard, I mean, <laughs> I'm serious. So thank you. Thank you. I'm thankful for a time in the mountains last weekend. It's quite beautiful. I'm thankful that voting was quick, easy, and safe in Florida. No line at all. I was in and out in five minutes, and everybody was very conscious of staying away from everybody. Hmm. I'm always grateful to be here um, and to worship with everyone. It's a wonderful start of the day. And I'm delighted to see Beth again in the, this morning. Welcome back. We've missed you. We put her to work already. She's going to read next week. Good. <laughs> And now, Susan, if we could close with a general thanksgiving. Sure. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. 
We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. 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 This blessing, Song of St. Patrick, is based on the words of St. Patrick's breastplate. May the Spirit of Christ be our hope through the day, be our God through the night, our companion on the way. Christ be ever before us, Christ be ever behind us, Christ be ever within. Let us greet our God in the morning, let us share God's kindness, let us be God's justice and mercy, hands and feet of Christ. May the Spirit of Christ be our hope through the day, be our guard through the night, our companion on the way. Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James and other parishes represented here. Although at this time we are apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy. And above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace. <laughs> and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Great. Thank you, Bill. Good to see Jay. Uh -huh. Yes, that's All right. Uh, I had another Thanksgiving, and that was for Susan Engel yesterday. Uh, I had to be in court, and Susan just took the Wednesday Bible study, and I think they're ready to replace me already. That's I've gotten some so feedback from that as well. Love it. Thank you. And Florence Ellen's leading our way of love conversation tonight. So please um, join us anytime. Good to see you. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.